Guess what month it is, everybody? Hold on. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with time. It has to do with humans. It has to do with a psychopathic killer in a tower. That's right, it's Clock Tower Month! Yay! That's right, Clock Tower Month. In which we play Clock Tower. And I'm going to try and get all the endings. I have none yet. Oh, so, yeah, we start. Why is it Clock Tower Month? Well... As soon as we get through this little prologue, they were wanted for as adopted daughters for murder. It's Clock Tower Month because it happened in September. Yes, September, the most evil and terrifying month of them all. You know it, I know it, don't deny it. And we have a bunch of girls and some ugly lady walking up to some huge house in the middle of the forest. Surely nothing bad can happen there. Miss Mary? Yes? From now on, what kind of place will we, we be living in? That's the fifth time you asked. Shut up. Repetition will get you nowhere. Don't worry, it's a very nice place. But you only got my word for that. We're almost there, see? Oh yeah, that place just screams niceness. Can you feel the niceness rubbing off of it? Man, it's so nice, I just can't stand it. Hmm, nice decor though. Yeah, it is pretty big. Yeah! Well, we've got a nice new place to live. Okay. We'll try not to get murdered while you're away. I mean, we'll try to enjoy ourselves. And as she walks off very slowly... We gain control. Here's how the controls work. Pressing L lets you go to the left. Pressing R lets you go to the right. Pressing X lets you stop, and if you slam on the X button later, you can do something. Y is the action button. A lets us access our inventory, but we don't have anything yet. And B, we'll get to what B does later. Anyways, let's talk to our friends. Here we have Anne, the forgettable one. And over here we have Laura, the blonde emo one. And over here we have Lot, the token lesbian one. And of course, we have Jennifer, the protagonist. Well, I just get the feeling that we're being watched. Am I crazy? You say I am, well, then I'll have to kill you. I know, it's pretty big. Nice table. Lot, what do you have to say? Oh, come on, it's a nice place. I'm sure there's nothing terrible in it. Wouldn't you be? No, you wouldn't. Nobody remembers you, Anne. Nobody cares. Yeah, she is. Where the hell is Mr. Barrows? And Mary. Uh, I'll do it. That way I won't get killed when something bad happens. See? Creepy music stirring up. You just know something bad is about to happen. Okay, Miss Mary, where are you? Um. Uh-oh. And she automatically takes her back to the self back to the main hall. And everybody's gone. Why is that? 
Hmm. Better go look for everybody. Hopefully they aren't dead. Ooh, hey, a light switch. Who turned the damn lights off? Well, I'm just gonna leave them on so I can romp their electricity bill. Ha ha! Hmm. Well, better go investigate, see where they are. Good, this is exactly where I want to be. Okay, looks like that wall has some structural integrity problems, so we might be able to break it. Why would I break it? Because I'm a jerk. And we pick up a rock. For the sole purpose of breaking this thing. Why are, you, why are you so rude, Jennifer? You don't have any reasons to, s to really suspect danger. Ooh, and there's one of the many bugs. Sometimes the portrait really freaks out. Anyways, we head this way. Hey, Anne, going for a swim? Are you having fun? Hmm. Should I help her? Nah, I'm pretty sure she's got it. And that's not what you're supposed to do. Ah, you're terrible at this. Don't panic, that'll just make you sink faster. Oh, Jesus! And you've become really ugly all of a sudden. Hmm. Well, better run from this guy. Jennifer, damn it. Don't be stupid. Okay, time to panic! That, pressing the B button really fast allows you to panic. And when you panic, push him in the face. Sissy push. And he reaches out and trips you, because Jennifer can't walk over him. And you may be thinking, hey, shouldn't we grab his scissors so he can't so can attack us? And that would be the smart thing to do, which is not what Jennifer does. Anyways, the reason I opted for the pool death is because it allows us to get away the fastest. Going through that hole causes Scissor Man to stop chasing you. Anyways, that guy, like I just said, was Scissor Man! the psychotic nine-year-old with a giant pair of hedge clippers who wants you dead. We don't know why yet, but we'll find out. Anyways, remember what I said about doing the, using the Y button, slamming on the Y button before? If you slam on the Y button real fast, eventually, or no, not the Y button, X button, eventually, Jennifer will kneel down and rest. And resting takes forever, but it heals you. So what we'll do is, speed up. Since we're not moving, you can't really tell how fast the frame rate is going. And we're done. Get up. Okay. Well, I think it's safe to say that, screw our friends, let's just get the hell out of here. Yes, we are going for ending H. Now, each day I'll upload a different ending and I'll show the various steps required to get to that ending. Now, I'm gonna have to start the game over a couple of times because getting each ending, uh, you have to do different things and certain things I'm gonna do are gonna lock me out from getting certain endings. Oh, one thing to note, if you came to this foyer first, uh, you'd see a different scene of Anne getting killed. Oh, sometimes uh, Jennifer kneels down by herself. Anyways, that door up there is locked, but we can head through this door. Also, get used to uh, Jennifer heading through doors really slowly. Even when she's getting chased by the scissor man, she doesn't have a very high sense of urgency. Anyways, here's the garage. Fun fact, if you're going for the best ending, this room is entirely pointless. But since we're going for the worst ending, we're going to come here and we're going to open this box. Yes. Very good, Jennifer. You know what a key looks like. And we're going to steal this car, because that's what a smart person would do. And of course, since it's the smart thing to do, the game will give you the worst ending for doing it. But, Jennifer has second thoughts, because, well, we haven't found out that all of her friends are dead yet. 
Now, if you come back here when you've discovered the bodies of other friends, if you've discovered their bodies, then uh, Jennifer will just leave anyways, and you'll get a different ending. But since we don't know that the others are dead yet, we're, we have second thoughts about it, and we also get the worst ending. Screw you guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Bye! <laughs> That's just funny that how she drives through the garage. And we get the credits. They're credits. And they're very slow, like everything else in this game. So we're just going to speed them up. Do 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 do. There's that guy, and that guy, and that dude, and various other things. And here's the little extra scene you get after the credits. This is the worst ending in the game. But it's also pretty funny. Well, that wasn't very smart, Scissor Man. You can't drive. How are you going to get back home? Now, since that was the wrong ending, you can just continue back to the beginning of that room and actually go do what you're supposed to do. But as you can see, we've cleared the H ending. Come back uh, tomorrow and we will clear subsequent endings. Now, I'll just do an ending a day, except for the really short game over-like endings, like ending F, and we'll see ending F when we get to ending F. So, come back tomorrow, and we'll get another ending for another day of Clock Tower Month. Yay, Clock Tower Month! Bye-bye.